Instagram block sitting on a ramp being pulled via a string by a 12 kilogram block hanging over the side. And the ramp is angled at 45 degrees. All the forces acting on each block are up in the picture. On the hanging block, I've got tension upward, force of gravity downward. For the block on the ramp, I've got tension pulling up the hill, gravity parallel in blue pulling down the hill, force of friction pulling down the hill, and normal force in the positive y direction, gravity perpendicular in the negative y direction. Before we can actually solve this problem, one other thing that we need to decide on is which way is positive and which way is negative. In my world, I'm going to say that if the block goes up the hill and the 12 kilogram block falls down, then it's positive. If it goes in the other direction, then that force would be a negative. So now we're trying to find the acceleration of this system. So that is our question mark. Now we know the 8 kilogram block is going to accelerate ideally up the hill because the 12 kilogram block is going to fall down. So I'm going to take a look at the equations for each of those blocks along the direction that they could move. So for the block on the hill, the 8 kilogram block, I have tension moving in the positive direction. And in the negative direction, I've got force of gravity parallel. And I've got that force of friction. Both of those are in the negative direction. And I'm out of forces in the direction that this could move along the x-axis. So that's got to equal m1 times the acceleration of the system. For the hanging block, my force of gravity, call it force of gravity 2 for the second block, that's the positive, and tension is the negative, and that's going to equal the mass of that block times the acceleration. What I have is a simultaneous equation. I don't know the accelerations, and I don't know the tensions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two equations together. And I add up the stuff on the left side of the equal sign and the stuff on the right side of the equal sign. And something nice happens, which is I have a positive tension and a negative tension, and those will cancel out. Leaving me on the left side with force of gravity 2 minus force of gravity parallel minus force of friction. And that's going to equal m1a plus m2a. Now we're trying to find the acceleration. So I can do a little bit of algebra yet on this in order to get a all by itself. So my left side remains unchanged. I have force of gravity 2 minus force of gravity parallel minus force of friction. I factor my A out, and in parentheses, I have M1 plus M2. Now I can divide by the masses, and my equation is set up for acceleration. Force of gravity 2 minus force of gravity parallel minus friction, all divided by m1 plus m2. And that would give me acceleration. Now, we can't actually plug in our numbers and solve just yet, and here's why. Force of gravity 2 is easy enough to get. It's the mass of this block, 12, times 9.8. So we can get a number for that. Force of gravity parallel, we have an equation for that one, which is the sine of the angle, 45, times the mass of the block, 8 times 9.8. So we can get a number for force of gravity parallel. And we know the mass of each block. The issue is going to be friction. Because all we have is a coefficient of friction and not friction itself. Friction itself is found by taking the coefficient and multiplying it by the normal force. The normal force we don't know right now. So we have to solve for the normal force before we can finish this problem. And how do we do that? We're going to look at the y-axis of the block on the hill. I'll write that here. We would have the normal force upward minus force of gravity perpendicular downward. And since it's not accelerating, 
in the y-axis, it equals zero, which means that my normal force equals gravity perpendicular. We have an equation for the normal force. Actually, we have an equation for gravity perpendicular, which I'm going to plug in, which will get me the normal force, and that is the cosine of the angle, 45 degrees, times the mass, which is 8 kilograms, times 9.8 meters per second squared. And when I plug that into my calculator, I should get that the normal force equals 55.4 newtons. So now I can plug in all my numbers in my y equi or my acceleration equation, and now I can get my answer. So force of gravity, as I said, is the mass of that block, which is 12 kilograms, times 9.8. So that's my force of gravity 2, minus force of gravity parallel is the sine of the angle, which is 45, times the mass of the block on the hill, which is 8 kilograms, times 9.8 meters per second squared, minus the friction, which is the coefficient 0 0.6 times the normal force, which is 55.4, and all of that gets divided by the masses, which is 8 kilograms plus 12 kilograms. And all of that stuff adds up and divides and multiplies to give us our acceleration. And our acceleration, when you plug that into our calculator, you get 1.45 meters per second squared per F. The end.